What's up everybody, Farmer Q here. Today we're gonna be harvesting some broccoli that we kinda let go a little late, so, uh, don't really feel the greatest about that, but you know, we live and we learn, but it'll be okay. I don't even mind the fact that there's a few actual flowers that bloom from the broccoli heads. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and harvest some of the broccoli heads, even though they are very much overdue. Some of them are just on point, but we're gonna eat them all just the same. So here we go. There's one head. <laughs> Definitely looks heirloom for sure. We'll set this one right here for now. Keep it going. This one is the best looking head of all of them right here. It's nice, short, and tight. Gonna cut it right down here. Just like that. Look at that. That's pretty right there. We're gonna let the other heads develop on the broccoli that we didn't cut, some of the smaller heads. Next up is the one that's super flowered out right here. <sighs> there we go. We got a broccoli bouquet going on here. That's pretty awesome. I'm excited to eat this actually. <laughs> we got two more to go for now. There we go. That is pretty. Look at that. It has like a purple hue to it. Some pretty leaves growing with it. And we got quite the little stack going on here. We're gonna make some beef and broccoli with it. So last but not least, we got Shorty over here. Oh, and that one is harvested. So, we got our lanky broccoli here, pretty awesome. It's the Waltzum 29 variety. And as you can see over here to the left, we got some more beets that we need to harvest. But we'll do that another day. Get those prepped up and cooked and everything. But here's what we're looking at right now. And then another thing we'll harvest is the Swiss chard right here. I'm gonna just harvest that whole plant right there in the front. And then after that, the one in the back. But we're gonna do greens dinners off of those two Swiss chard. These two broccoli here, or this one broccoli here. Oh no, it's two, it's definitely two. They're both really closely planted to each other. I'm just gonna let them develop and see what happens with them, but that's what happens when you plant stuff too close. They rob each other. That's what we're working with for now, and let's come over here a little bit and look at these Pink Beauty Radish. I don't really, I think I planted them way too close, and I really just don't even think I'll get a harvest off these, but. We'll pull one up just for the heck of it. So, yep. Just as I suspected. These look really similar to the broccoli, but these are the radish. And we didn't get any actual radish off of it, but we'll eat these with the broccoli, so it won't be a waste. But we'll let some of these other broccoli heads develop a little bit, and then we'll harvest those and have them as a little side dish or something like that. <laughs> But for now, we got our little harvest going, and it is heavy and ready. So let's take it on in the house. Check it out, baby. Oh my gosh, it's so yummy. Oh yeah. All right, y'all, that's it for the broccoli harvest today. Like I said, we'll be coming out later and doing some more harvesting of the broccoli where we can, and then when it's all said and done, we'll make sure that we take the greens too. But that's it for now. Farmer Q out. <laughs>